halfway through September. And well, Addis is going to be here shortly to tell you about some very summer-like weather coming our way. Spooky season is very much upon us. Hershey Park Halloween kicks off tomorrow and will run through the end of October. There is something new this year. Taylor Tosh, I've got a sneak peek. Halloween is back at Hershey Park, but this year the park is kicking it up a notch, bringing in new scary features and immersive experiences. Our guests have been asking for us to add more haunted experiences for years, and we know how popular those are. Hershey Park is bringing the thrills and chills. New this year, dark nights spreading its shadow over the park. It's an all new immersive haunt experience. It includes four haunted houses, all with unique themes and stories throughout the park and three scare zones as well. We do have a great barometer on our website that shows you the intensity of the scare. So if you want to taste a little bit of it, we have scare zones for you all walk through. But then the haunted attractions are an additional ticket if you really want to be frightened when you're with us. 50 rides will be running with a lights out feature during the last hour of operation and for younger guests. We also have our trick or treat trail through Treatville. So kids 12 and under are able to come and trick or treat, of course, in Hershey Park, get lots of chocolate. And then we also have a character glow party every night at 830. Hershey Park is serving up more than just tricks. Look for new king size shakes. We have some spooky kind of entrees where you can inject, you know, a syringe of sauces into various things. We've got spooky cocktails and things at the chocolatier as well. So throughout the park, you're going to find limited to time exclusive items that can be a little bit scary and also full of chocolate. Hershey Park Halloween officially kicks off on Saturday. For all information on tickets and times, we have that on our website, abc27.com. But for now, at Hershey Park, Taylor Toshef, ABC 27 News.